not a secret that I love music and generally it's hard to find a person that doesn't like music. Even though I'm not a musician, I don't even know the basics of music, I still can enjoy it, right? Today I decided to share some of my favorite albums to change my life. Hi, I used to be known as Weiss Walrus on this channel. You can follow me on my Instagram where I post some creative photos occasionally. Or you can support this little channel by liking, commenting, subscribing, and even sharing some of my videos. It's hard to deny Beatles' impact and influence on my life, on my music taste, and on my character development in general. I believe that a lot of people started their music journey from the Beatles. For me, it was switched from my anime phase when I listened to a lot of anime openings, uh, J-Rock, J-Pop. Of course, the first album I ever listened to was A Hard Day's Night. By the way, it, it was a gift from my friend Anne when we were together in Budapest. But I guess we all know what album actually changed my life in some ways. Magical Mystery Tour has influenced me in many ways, but the main is my nickname, I saw Walrus. The Walrus part was taken from the Beatles song I'm the Walrus. Before that, I don't think I even knew what, what Walrus wasn't. A lot of people know me by Why So Walrus. Fun fact, and one guy, one international student, he called me a walrus several times. He was like, hey walrus, what's up walrus, what are you doing on like on the weekends, walrus? And I look at him and I say, do you know that walrus is not my name? And he, he didn't know that. He thought that walrus was my real name. Next album, and I've talked about it millions of times. I mean, I have to do that. I have to show off that I actually have it. And I don't know, it just makes me happy to hold it in my hands. And I'm a bit scared to listen to it on um, the player. But oh my god, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. I love this album so much. I mean, it, I, I don't know. <laughs> sometimes I want to cry. I'll try to keep it short. If this thing didn't exist, this channel would have never existed at all because the Lush Shadow Puppets were the ones that uh, inspired me a lot. They were the main target of all of my jokes. They are the reason why I still keep posting on YouTube and I'm just, no, I just... This album, I love it and I will love it forever. It's, it's just a freaking masterpiece. Next album. You might say, oh my god, Alexandra, it's such a basic Oasis choice. But I know, I know it's basic. This album, my love to Britpop, started, started and it started to grow and I introduced myself to a new realm of music. Through Britpop, I found out about uh, Matt Chester. Moreover, I listened to Definitely Maybe on the first year of my university. When I finished university, I got my bachelor's degree this summer, so... This album is a whole era for me. I love Oasis. I love their songs, even though they are very similar and they are very repetitive, but they have very positive vibe. Next one. Maybe. It's a bit unexpected, but I think I mentioned that I listened to Rammstein before, I'm not sure. And I don't speak German that well, I mean my level is around A1, A2. I don't like when people say that they are very harsh, they are very hard, because I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like that they are okay. I mean, they are maybe harder than some of other songs that I listen to, but they are still pleasant, they have nice energy, they have nice rhythm and beat. And I love listening to their albums, especially this one, Einsucht, when I'm in gym. It motivates me and, and it inspires me. And I love it, it's that simple. And the last album, I would say how we pronounce it in Ukrainian, the band is called Skryavin, and the album is called Kaske, which translates as uh, Fairy Tales. I mentioned this band before when I talked about Ukrainian musicians, but I, I'm, I'm obsessed with this album. First of all, this year was a year for me that I realized that I should use my mother tongue and the tongue of the country I live in more often and I should support, and I should support artists from my country as well. This album is actually quite groundbreaking for Ukrainian music. It has a lot of nice um, sounds, it has unusual lyrics and unusual music decisions. And in some ways this album is very prophetic. It has a song called Hodenik. Uh, which translates as clock and it has very sad lyrics Which 
if you know the situation in Ukraine, you know that we have war with Russia. So I'm glad that I'm spending my adult years with this album because it's kind of a mature album and I prob and probably I wouldn't understand it the way I understand it now when I was a teenager. So oh <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. In the comment section you can share your five albums that changed your life. I will gladly read the comments. Thank you for watching. I'm really glad you could spend your time with me <laughs> right now. And uh, um, hopefully I will see you soon. I'm trying to post more videos. So thanks a lot once again. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Goodbye.